Well, everyone, iOS 16.1 has officially came out, so let's go and take a look at it on the iPhone 10. Now, this specific update is very, very interesting because it does bring a lot of cool improvements. Now, if we make our way over to the release log today, not the full release log, but just the one that comes in with our specific update, you can see that this update has a big, giant description right here, which we'll get into in a second. Coming from, I don't know if I was inst I installed the beta, so it's 4.58 gigabytes, but it's not going to be that big if you're coming from the official version of 16.0.3. However, if you're coming from iOS 15 or probably even iOS 16.0, it's probably going to be roughly around this size, so keep that in mind. Now, in this update, as I mentioned, there are tons of cool improvements that I'm really, really happy about. So with the iPhone 10, you know, 2017 phone, it's definitely not the latest phone, but we're still getting a cool, you know, set of features here and there. The first one being shared iCloud photos. So now we basically have the ability one way or another of basically utilizing shared or iCloud shared photo library. So we can share our photo library with other people and that is really cool. They can add photos, they can do whatever. We've had abilities like this before, but now it's brought in over to 16.1, which is really cool. And I'm really, really happy to see that. Now, another big massive thing, it's actually probably one of the biggest things here, is live activities for third-party applications. So iOS 16 brought live notifications, which basically gives us the ability of getting like a real-time, real-time updating of notifications without having to bombard us with like tons of notifications. So now we have the ability basically, you know, for watching a football game or a basketball game or whatever, it'll give us, you know, one notification and it'll update that notification. And it's if the applications do it right, they're actually really good, you know, notifications. So we're going to see what happens here. Hopefully they don't make them look ugly, but I guess we're going to see what happens in the future. Now, another thing is actually mostly for the 14 Pro, so we now have the reachability with the dynamic island. So that is really cool. You know, if you're going from an iPhone 10 to a 14 Pro, you're going to have that ability. Now, another big thing within this update is actually within our battery settings. So for some reason, it wasn't showing up on my iPhone 11. It was showing up on my iPhone 8 and iPhone 10 R. But if you go into our battery options within our settings, and if we go and click on battery health and charging, we should now have this clean energy charging option at the bottom. So this is very interesting. I'm, I would be very curious to see how this is going to hold up and if it's going to affect battery. But what it basically does is it reduces our carbon footprint when we're actually charging up our device. So like I said, it's going to be very interesting to see how this is going to hold up, you know, if it's going to affect battery health, if it's going to slow battery charging time, but I'm going to keep it enabled and I'll be very, I mean, I'm already at 85% battery health, so there's really not much worse you can do in this specific situation. But the question is, should you install iOS 16.1 on your iPhone 10? And I will tell you, honestly, if you're already on iOS 16, I would probably just recommend going up to 16.1. In fact, I would highly recommend going up to 16.1. This is going to be the best version of iOS right now, and it makes the most amount of sense. However, if you're currently on iOS, you know, let's say you're on iOS 16. Point, let's say you're on 16.0, please update. But if you're on 15, I would probably recommend just staying on iOS 15 for just a little bit more time and then maybe updating after. But in terms of that, that kind of covers it up, you know, for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.